Greg, one thing you've uh, reiterated on most of your calls is how tough the year has been for so many of the players because of the pandemic and because of the hectic schedule. Um, having had the, all the guys together for a week, can you assess how you think they're doing mentally and physically? And also how important it's going to be this summer for them to uh, get a vacation? Yeah, great question. Um, you know, it's so nice to see them together because you can tell how, how much they missed each other. You can tell how they're sharing experiences with each other. And, you know, it's a great camaraderie in the group. So I think, you know, despite, you know, how difficult it's been for them this year, when they're together, you can see it, it's kind of a, a haven that, that's created here. Um, and it's, re it's really nice to see the interactions. You know, regarding the summer, what I've been telling um, most of the guys is there's going to be a big focus um, for most of these players on Nations League. And then after that, I just want them getting away from the game and, and really trying to go somewhere and, and just unplug and unwind and be with family and whatever it takes just to prepare for, um, you know, what's coming in the latter half of the year. So, you know, hopefully that, that will happen and they'll get the opportunity to do that. Next will be Jeff Carlisle from ESPN FC. There we go. Hi, thanks, Michael. Hi, Greg. Um, yeah. Northern Ireland had a, a World Cup qualifier a few days ago. They've, they've got another one after your game. You know, what are you expecting to, to see out of them uh, tomorrow? And and in what ways do you think they're going to challenge you? And that that's different than some of the the Concacaf competition that you faced recently. Well, it will be a, it will be a big challenge for us, Jeff. Um, you know, it's a very physical team and with height and strength and aggressiveness. Um, you know, they're disappointed in their in the World Cup qualifying game against um, Italy, but you see the second half they really put pressure on Italy. We're really aggressive moving forward. I expect them to make um, a number of changes in the game. Uh, I know they had a, their first choice striker that wasn't available um, due to a, a birth in the family. And I expect we expect him to be back on the field. We expect um, Lafferty to be on the field, a big, strong, tall center forward. Um, so overall, you know, we, we think it's a good team because of their organization. Very compact. They play a 5-3-2, very difficult to break down. And, um, you know, it's going to present a number of challenges for us. Next will be Ron Blum from the Associated Press. Hey, Greg, how are you? Hey, Ron. How much, if at all, are you looking this week at the, the videos of games with Canada and Trinidad, or is that something for down the road, or is there anything you can gain looking at those games now, looking ahead to September? I haven't looked at those games at all. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I saw the score line. I, I saw, actually, I saw the goals that they scored. Oh. Other than that, we haven't been able to scout them, and um, we will. You know, we'll do a deep dive on all those teams. You know, Canada's a, a team that we'll face in the Gold Cup as well, so we'll become uh, much more familiar with them, and and we'll see how it all develops for those countries. It's really interesting with this playoff format um, to see who's going to make it through. Next will be Stephen Goff from the Washington Post. Hey, Greg. Um, just want to check with you on uh, the 23 guys who presumably are with you right now and um, any injury concerns, anyone ho you're holding back um, through training or through what happened uh, the other night in Austria. Every, every one of the 23 players that are with us um, is available to play with, with no limitations. Um, so we're, we're no limitations to start the game. When I say, you know, there will be some guys that will manage their minutes, um, you know, particularly some of the, the guys, um, you know, Aaron Long, who hasn't been um, playing in full games yet. Um, you know, we won't want to push Sebastian um, 90 minutes again, most likely Kalanikoso. Well, we won't want to push 90 minutes, so we'll have to manage those minutes. Um, but everyone's ready to go, Stephen. Okay, thanks. Next will be Paul Gilmore from Sky Sports. Thanks, Michael. Uh, Greg, welcome to Belfast. Uh, I've just got two quick questions, if that's okay. The, the first one is, you mentioned Northern Ireland being a, a compact team. I just wonder, what's the best way to break down a team like that, opposition like that? And the second question is 
just on Christian Pulisic and, and what you've made of his time at Chelsea so far, specifically this season. Thank you. Um, so regarding Christian, you know, I think he's done a great job at Chelsea. You know, I first first um, embracing the challenge of coming to terms with the Premier League. You know, when you see players like um, Werner, um, you know, who has difficulties adapting from the Bundesliga um, to the to the Premier League, you can see it takes a toll on players, and they have to they have to adapt. And I think he's done a good jo- job adapting. You know, now with the new manager coming in, um, you know, he's, he's finding his footing again. He had a really strong weekend um, before he came into camp. And we expect him to continue to push on. You know, he's a, very, he's a quality player who can make the difference in the attacking third. And I, I can see him, you know, getting more minutes as the season unfolds. Um, regarding Northern Ireland, you know, it, it's, it's interesting because, you know, the game against Italy, um, you know, gave a really good picture of them. I think in the first half, they tried to be more compact, but Italy picked them apart pretty well. In the second half, they were much more aggressive, high pressing, and they, they created more chances, but they also gave up a, a bunch of chances also. So it, a lot of it depends on them and what they're willing to do and what willing to commit to the game. If they are going to come high press us, I think it will open space for us, for, for our quick players. And if they stay really compact, it's about us moving the ball quickly and, and trying to play behind them. Next would be Ryan Talmich from Goal.com. Hey, Greg. Obviously, you know, you have a big game tomorrow, and I'm sure a lot of your focus has been on that. But there's another big game, you know, going on in Mexico tomorrow night. Um, do you guys have any plans on, on watching that? The timing kind of works out in that way. And, and as someone following that, you know, as the national team coach following that from, from Europe, what has that kind of been like for you, you know, building that into this camp, around this camp? You know, has it been exciting to watch those guys? Has it kind of been nervous since it is a little out of your control? You know, what's it kind of been like following that from, you know, a, a distance away? You know, we've been talking about it and, you know, we're, we're behind them 100 percent and excited about it. Um, excited to see the game tomorrow night. You know, we, we will watch it. You know, we'll have it on. Um, it's going to be late hours here, but we'll, we'll still be able to get it on. And, um, you know, it, it's to me, it's a great opportunity for U.S. soccer. Um, you know, I think Jason's done a good job with this group. It's not easy when, you know, all of almost all of your starting 11 is, um, you know, is not available due to not being released. But, you know, we've compensated. I think it speaks to the depth in, in our player pool. And, you know, we're behind these guys 100 percent and hoping they're going to they're going to win this game against Honduras. Next to be Franco Panizo from SBI Soccer. Thank you, Michael. Hey, Greg, just uh, two, two quick ones for you. Um, just what do you want to see from the group tomorrow against Northern Ireland? Um, just more of the same in terms of the style of play you guys have, have implemented, or is it maybe a little bit different since it's a different opponent from a different region that can bring, like you said, maybe different different style of, of soccer? Um, and, and the second one is this is probably your last chance to maybe see new faces um, before the, the big games that are coming later on in the year. How do you balance uh, the lineup choice here? Do you go with – uh, most first choice guys and, and try to work on things for as l- much as you can, given the limitations you said you have, or do you maybe try to get a look at, at some of the newer guys like DK or, or Sivachu in, in, in a longer, longer uh, period of time? Thanks. No, I think that's a good question and good point that you raised. Um, we're certainly going to use this game to look at, um, you know, some, some new faces. I, I think we need to do that. Um, you know, we need to be, um, you know, have really good of, of all the players, um, you know, before we go into this year, busy year. So, you know, it, to me, it's going to be a very competitive game. Um, you know, part of our challenge is going to be, you know, em- embracing the physicality of the game, just coming to terms that early in the game, um, they're, you know, they're going to be a very hardworking team and it's going to be difficult for us. Um, anytime you play a team on, on, on their own soil in Europe, it's a, it's a special occasion. It'll be nice to try to get a win. We'll go to Brian Shreda from American Soccer Now. All right, thank you very much, Greg. Um, just want to speak to you about the overall um, depth of the program. Um, it seems to be like the national pool, national team pool is 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 deep at a lot of different positions. Discuss how satisfied you are with the depth of the program, not just in terms of. Um, you know, having backups at positions, but also being able to throw a variety of different formations or approaches to each game. And uh, what do you think is, why do you think, why do you think the depth has, has, has increased so much? And then second of all, 
later in the year, how tough is it going to be for someone breaking out later this year or even in the next year to break into this team, given there are no real friendlies? It's just going to be mostly just World Cup qualifying. Thank you. So, you know, to answer the second part first, it, it's going to just, it will be up to the player um, and, and how they're performing with their clubs. You know, we've always said, you know, we're open to taking new players in. We're open to a player who performs his way onto the team. And that's how it should be. You know, the national team is, is a collection of, of players, um, you know, from different clubs. And if, if a player's doing really well, you know, we're more than open to giving them an opportunity. Uh, in terms of the depth on our player pool, um, you know, I think it's good. You know, um, you know, we're still need depth in, in, in some positions, but overall, you know, we're, we're pleased that, you know, we've worked with a number of players. So there's probably close to 50 players that we've worked with, um, you know, throughout the course of these last two and a half years. And, and that's, you know, that's given us a very good um, evaluation period. And, um, you know, some of the positions are re really strong and, and we're really confident. And then others, you know, we need some more backup. Our last question goes to Emily Olson. Thanks, Michael. Greg, thanks for taking the time. As we kind of wrap up this last friendly, as everyone's saying, before these, these more competitive, meaningful matches happen, how would you describe what you've been able to accomplish very specifically from the November camps to now? Um, you know, I'm, we're not looking at, we're not looking at like that, Emily. Um, you know, we, we've, I think we've made progress with the group, but accomplished, you know, I wouldn't use the word accomplished because I think we have a number of events coming up in this summer and in the fall that are going to help us get closer to our team goals. And, um, you know, we've, we've been playing friendly games and, you know, I think we've, we've made progress as a group. We improved as a group. We, we've looked at new players. We, you know, we, um, you know, we had some guys commit to the program and other guys got healthy and back in the program. So, you know, that's been, you know, we've been pleased with that, but, you know, we still have yet to accomplish our goals as a, as a team.